Now recently on social media, I've been seeing a lot of talk about how real wingers are dead. Now if I'm being honest, this video should be about 5 seconds. Because answering the question, are real wingers dead? It's just a no. Look at the likes of Mitoma. Kavicha, Karaskelia, Rafael Liao, Vinny Jr. All these players still exist. You know, they're still playing. So, real wingers are not dead. The winger. Playing on either the left side or the right side, their main job was to cut inside and be very direct with their play. Real wingers would take on their defenders at any given opportunity and really break them down during a game. At every opportunity, they were, you know, trying to harass their defender by either running at them or running in behind to receive a through ball. But many years have gone past and football has developed. Defensive systems have got better, meaning that wingers have become less effective. Why have wingers become less effective? There is a very finite amount of real wingers in modern football at the moment. You know, there aren't as many out and out ballers playing at your teams anymore because defensive systems have changed. Football has been modernized and has become way more defensively solid. Sorry for the S on that one, it was a bit. We have Grealish, Vinicius Jr., Kavicha, Fanapoli. You know, these players have based their skills and the way they play on real wingers, taking on a defense at every given opportunity opportunity and linking up with the other forwards on the pitch when it comes to maybe past the 20 yard mark. Now defensive systems being improved has caused wingers to go into their shell a little bit. We hardly see the flary creative players like the likes of Ronaldinho anymore that are just taking on about 10 man a game, just rinsing people, leaving people in the dust. There is no player that is doing that. Once in a blue moon does Rafael Leal go on a, a treacherous run taking on about 7 players. It doesn't really happen a lot but he is still regarded in my opinion as a real winger. That is because teams are a lot more cohesive. Defensive units are required in every single team and instead of winning games at the front with your attack, people and managers and you know coaches, they're focusing on the defense. They're focusing on the back line first and then working their way forward because if you have a still defense and you don't let any goals in, you'll finish higher than an attacking force that scores many goals but concedes twice as many. Think about it. So coaching and coaching systems have really taken it into to their grasp to make sure the fundamentals of defending are learned from a very young age and are bringing it all the way up into the leagues. We've seen many new advanced systems of defending including very low blocks and zonal defending where if one man goes then two men cover just to stop the attacking forces. So that's why less goals are really being scored. That's why wingers aren't being as effective. It's just all an illusion. It's just all evolution and it's just the way the game is going. That's why when one winger goes against the grain and shows their ability in a game, you really see that that is a proper winger. There is very few at the elite level at the moment, but the ones that are just about to break into that cast are the ones that are showing that they can take on a few players and score in a game. Look at the likes of Matoma. In the last few seasons, he was unknown. He's come out of nowhere, you know, and broken into a Brighton team, being their number one driving force and cementing himself as one of the best wingers in the league. Sooner or later, he is going to get a big move and become one of the best wingers in the world in his prime years at the likes of 27, 28 and 20. He is what I like to call an out and out winger, someone that plays his defender inside and out. Someone that can not only go left of his defender but can also go right. Someone that can not only come short but can also run in behind. He is an out and out winger and he is my prime example for this video in terms of a real winger. Now the reason why these wingers aren't as direct in games is because defensive systems have changed and that is the simple answer for this debate of are there any real wingers anymore. This is stupid. It's very stupid. Why are we making emotional football reels and football TikToks of oh I miss the days of Robin and Ribery running the half of the pitch when are we gonna get a player like Ronaldinho that just takes on every single man and bangs it top bins from 30 yards do you know why he's a world-class player because he is one in a million wingers like Ronaldo they don't come around often bro just because there are a few real wingers in the world doesn't mean real wingers are dead it just means that there's hard it's hard to see them you know maybe go and watch like the Saudi Arabian League then you might see a real winger there because they ain't taken on 10 man in the Premier League. Imagine Saka trying to take on the whole of the Man City team and bang it top bins like Ronaldinho did against Real Madrid. It's just not going to happen. But then man like Ronaldinho, he was taking on hella people from Real Madrid. 
but I can't even name one. Defensive systems have just got better. Defenders have just got better and the game has changed. The main priority for teams now is to not lose the ball. So wingers, most of the time, they're running at the defender and then if they don't see an option, if they can't take their man on and if they're being shifted to one side, they're going to turn back and they're going to pass it because the main thing being ingrained in players' heads is don't lose the ball, don't lose the ball, don't lose the ball, let me just pass it off. That's why the likes of Saka, you'll see him pop, you'll see him drive at his defender a couple times a game and just pass it back because he's not going to, you know, try and take on this man and lose the ball about eight times because he knows what you know the game plan is there has been a game plan set up so wingers aren't dead wingers have just changed they have adapted they have evolved and there are a few that are at that elite level this has been jib rules with a football analysis session you know what i mean am i even qualified to do that let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe please i'm begging like we're gonna blow inshallah